you want to know his secret? What is going on everybody? It's your boy Grod here again. Second video of the day. And just to be honest, I am a super nerd. Yes, and I think y'all already know that, but I'm not for sure. But, uh, as you, some people might know, Tuesday was the season finale for the Arrow, and, or Arrow, and uh, tonight was the season finale for Flash. And I am really enjoying these two series, like, really much, because I'm starting to actually love DC a little more than I did do Marvel. Uh, they're still going hand in hand, kind of. I'm still, I'm hoping that Batman v Superman will kind of, uh, push DC over, kind of, but I'm just trying to kind of get me a, I don't want to have play favorites with them just because I love both of them very equally, and it's just very hard to decide, but the TV, uh, universe, I guess you can say, of DC is very, act, to me, is going very well, and I, like, as y'all can probably, or if y'all know already, they are coming out with a spinoff called Legends of Tomorrow with, like, the Adam with White Canary, which is the original Black Canary, uh, resurrected from the Lazarus Pit and all that, and she's coming into Legends of Tomorrow. And then you got uh, Martin, I think it's Martin Stein, Martin Stein and Ronnie Raymond, which is Firestorm together. You got Captain Cold and Heat Wave. You got, and then they just inter they just introduced Rip Hunter, which I have never really heard of him before until just now. So I like to get introduced to people like right away. Once I hear the name, I go on Wikipedia and Google just to look up who they are itself. Go to DC. I go to, I try to do so much research or as much research as I can, but it's just really exciting. Half the stuff that happens in like when I hear a certain name in the, uh, during episodes, I go, huh? I wonder if that could lead to somebody because like I said, there's, there's so many good Flash villains that were actually in the season one, and well, like Deadbolt, you have uh, Peekaboo, uh, Trickster, well, Tricksters. If you haven't seen it already, I'm sorry. These are spoilers, but I can't tell you anything different. But you got Tricksters, the Weather Wizard, two of them, two of them brothers. Uh, let's see who else we got. We got the Reverse Flash. We got Grodd, this guy, this guy right here rod but um it's just so many good things are coming through dc to me i don't know why i enjoy dc so much but i think beforehand i was really into marvel more than i was dc and like recently i've been buying like every single animated movie of dc trying to like just i love the storylines one of my favorite storylines is flashpoint I have the book and the movie, or the graphic novel, my bad, but uh, just everything is so, I'm so, okay, I feel like I'm enthusiastic about, about comics more than anything, because, like I said, one second right here, see, like this, this is Marvel, of course, Silver Surfer, but it's just, I'm really enthusiastic about, enthusiastic about any comic books, because it's just really, it's what I'm into, you know? All right, see, look right here. I got Grodd number one, which is just a little, kind of a spin-off series, if you think about it. It's like a, a certain thing they're doing with all the comic books in the New 52. They are chain, they are doing like kind of an origin, almost, story kind of thing with their with the villains. And then on this side, I got Flash, the, number, the zero issue of the New 52. But it's just, everything is so, like I said, just the storylines themselves. And it's kind of crazy because, like on the Infinite Crisis, or Crisis on Infinite Earths, they're all either separate realities, or there's just so many different storylines that can be actually used. Because there's like, Earth 2, Earth 1, there's so many d Earths, they're all, like 52 different uh, mul multiverse, I think that's what it is. But it's just crazy what all DC can do with the stories that they have already wrote and just put them into a different idea. And I'm just, 
I'm sorry, I'm psyched for everything that they're already putting in there. It's just overwhelming almost. I, like I said, I've been getting into DC way more than I have ever in my whole entire life, and it's just getting crazy. But I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about DC. Are, are they going in the right direction? Do you think they will p bring up anything different? Do you think they'll ever bring like the Flashpoint Paradox into the live action scene? Would y'all love to see that? I would, to tell you that one. Now, I'm, I'm still skeptical about uh, Ezra Miller playing uh, the Flash in the Justice League movie. But, I don't know. But every other casting choice I'm pretty okay with. I just can't quite wrap my head around it but hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I talked quite a while and I probably y'all probably don't want to really watch this I don't know but if y'all did watch it to the end click the like button down below and I will talk to you guys later peace out